here we go. Playoff time, baby. This is our time to shine. Our time. Our time. It's on. Just in his hometown, but you know, all across the league, the fans really seem to enjoy him. And he enjoys them right back. And I tell you what, Steve, how about the firepower he gives them off the bench, too? When he's called upon, he rarely disappoints. You look at them. They need the boost here from the hometown fans trailing 2 0. It is critical for them to start to edge back into this series. Yeah, tough start to this series, but you come home, you win one game, and that changes the momentum. And that has to be the focus here tonight. Just win one game in your building. Yeah, it's basically do or die. There's no doubt about that. They can't be discouraged by the two losses. There's still plenty of time left in this series. The crowd isn't discouraged. We know that much. Just listen to them. Now, here's Paul. After the miss from Fareed, it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them. As free throws are better than the layup. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. So it's Denver now. They lost their last game on Tuesday. It was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. Now, here is Lawson Chandler. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Now they finally connect with their fourth shot of the game. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. On defense, the Nuggets. Here's Quinn. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. About a minute played so far here in the first. Lawson outside. Outside Robinson. Stolen away. Here's Quinn. And he's good on the three ball. Quinn's got his second basket of the night. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Lawson outside. Chandler outside. Outside for Lawson. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Lawson's got his first bucket of the night. Nice kick out after the defense had collapsed on him. 14 feet away. Robinson pulls it in. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. And Fareed kicks to Chandler. Feeds it to Robinson. From outside the arc, that's good from Chandler on the assist by Robinson. Six points for Wilson Chandler. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Quinn, good. Boy, don't you just admire that tenacity he shows out on the floor. Nuggets have gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Lawson kicks to Chandler. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Chandler's got his third bucket of the night. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. Jamison dishes to Quinn. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. The Nuggets have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Ball's not loose. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rip. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fella. Here's Quinn. 12 points for him. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Now, here is Robinson. They trail by three. 
Lawson the pass to Hickson. Lawson kicks to Farina. The rim rattling two handed jam. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead him with a pass like that. Paul dishes to Mullins, and the shot is good. All the points these defenders are allowing inside is inexcusable. That's five baskets in a row, and they've all been practically lay-ins. Yeah, they've got to harden and toughen up down there, guys. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Quinn, and the layup's good off the glass. Quinn's got 14. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive. To the inside, out of bounds, Denver takes possession. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin Boss, in their last game out against the Nuggets, played some outstanding basketball. He finished with an incredible amount of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Truly impressive numbers from him in a stellar performance. What a special night. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night. Clark, I thought was truly incredible. Absolutely. I mean, he did the work of several players in that game. He really didn't need much support at all. But they shouldn't count on that type of performance again tonight. Clark. His teammates need to be prepared to carry a little bit more of the load. Austin out there with Robinson. Then it's Wilson Chandler. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. And it's Hickson. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Denver. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. As you take a look at Nate Robinson, dangerous player from three-point line, a great talent with a great release. He's having so much success from the three-point line in the playoffs. Just seems like he's thriving under pressure. That's tipped. Dixon passes to Robinson. Fires from the line. He goes up again and laying it up and in the basket from Hickson. Hickson's got four points this quarter. Well, he's so dangerous on the offensive glass. You know, well, Clark, what, what's your expression for it? Glass eater? That's right. You got it, Steve. A go-and-get-it specialist is another way to look at it. He follows every shot, never assumes it's going in. Yeah, and I also love the way he can torture a defense by using the good old-fashioned pick and roll. When they execute it well, and he's on the receiving end of the pass. Mark it up. It's two points. No good from Lawson. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Robinson drives in. He feeds it to Lawson. Pass to Fareed, reverses. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got four assists now tonight. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Robinson drives in, and Fareed kicks to Robinson. Lawson dishes to Robinson. Here's Chandler, off target from outside. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Stolen by Robinson, and here comes the break. Here's Lawson, boom, he jams it straight down. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. Wow, and now it's just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Fantastic basketball in the open floor. Quinn passes to Mullins. Soft touch off the glass. Mullins got his third basket of the night. With the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half about just piling up points in the paint. Darrell Arthur, he's checked in for Denver. Fournier comes in for Wilson Chandler. Arthur, and again it's Denver. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Quinn, good. Quinn's got 23. 
Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. The Nuggets trail by five. Robinson with it, and Crawford picks him up defensively. Jacks up a three. Here's Fournier, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. And again, another basket there from Quinn. Quinn's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Fast break, here they come. Wide open look, and the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Boy, that mid-range jumper is a beautiful thing to have in your bag, and they've had it going today. Yeah, but look down at the other end of the court. The same has not held true. Watson kicks to Robinson. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Antoine Jameson picks one up. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Second quarter ends in a tight one. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. Just absolute domination in this one for Boss. He's got 27 points, and he's stolen the ball four times. The motor on this guy is amazing. Completely revved up. He's been everywhere today. He sure has, Clark. Both ends of the floor. I mean, his offense has been great, but defensively, he's brought huge energy, too. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, win in its shooting guard. Byron Mullins is out there with Antoine Jameson. And it's Chris Paul. And it's Crawford at the small forward. Jameson dishes to Paul. Here's Quinn, guarded by Robinson. Can he keep it going? And it's the Clippers scoring again. And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. The feed to Chandler. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. At the line for two. Chandler hits them both. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Quinn. Power down with both hands. Ice hops and determination that time. Uh, Clark to get to the rim. We know he can bounce, and right there, an example of how dangerous he is when he's got a path to the hoop. And, and you love the versatility, guys. Being a point guard, and in this situation, they tack on two more points, expanding the lead in a, a pretty deflating way for the defense. He has not been on his game, and you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Tries from 16. Win. Good on the jump shot. And now it's a 10-point Clipper lead. And he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. Lawson drives in. That one goes. Count it. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. Clippers leading by eight. This is the Quinn. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Well, against opposing ball handlers, this guy's a terror. I mean, he, he's got great discipline, quick hands, and wonderful anticipation. So you've got to be very careful with the ball when you're around him. Not to mention, guys, he's got those rush hour handles. He can get in a lot of tight spaces the way he handles that ball. He's able to dissect the defense with ease. Outside Robinson, and here's the intentional foul, but you know, it's coming here at a very inopportune time. Yeah, th that's a bad play there. I mean, th that can really cost you the game. You've got to be smart when you make those intentional fouls. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Six to shoot. Tries it from the top of the key, and he gets it to go. Robinson's got six. The Clippers have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Quinn passes to Croft. The dish to Jamison. Kicks to Quinn. No good. 
excellent D there from Hickson. Four for five so far. That's their first miss of the second half. Robinson with it. Now defended by Quinn. Robinson goes in. Left side Chandler. Here's Fareed. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. This is his first free throw of the game. No good on the second free throw. Los Angeles leading by seven. Quinn, good. Quinn's got 37. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Now, here is Robinson. Defense right on him. Passes it to Hickson. Ball against Lawson. Six on the shot clock. And he converts the layup. Lawson's got eight points. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Quinn kicks to Jamison. Stolen by Fareed. Poked away. Robinson with it. Now guarded by Quinn. Here's Lawson. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. Robinson's got four assists in the game. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Quinn. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. Hey, Robinson picks one up. The defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Miller dishes to Hamilton. Back to Miller. Let's it go from 11, and it's Denver scoring again. And yeah, they're making a statement here, guys, going inside for eight of their last 10 points. Time to man up on D and stop these free runs to the rim. Barnes passes to Bullock. He dishes it to Barnes to the middle. Bullock, good. That bounce pass got him the ball this in play. Here's Miller. He has five. They set the pick. Pass to four. Banked in off the glass. Foy's got his first points in this one. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Two for one chance here. Yeah, let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Hamilton outside, and the pass to four. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's Miller, goes back up, and that's two points on the layup. And now it's just a four point clipper lead. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Nuggets have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Miller off a pick from Arthur. And it's Miller penetrating. Nice shot by Arthur. Arthur's got his second bucket. Nice, accurate pass right into the middle. Here's Quinn. That is good. And the Clippers lead by six. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Back here to the coverage of the Western Conference. Los Angeles making a switch here. Man. Kenneth Fareed is out there with Wilson Chandler. And there's Hickson. Then it's Robinson. And it's Lawson in at the one. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Boy, what a display of offense we've seen today. And it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day. And it's begun to take its toll. And Fareed kicks to Robinson. On the wing, Chandler. Back to Robinson. Down to five on the shot clock. Feeds it to Fareed. And that one's good. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post. Maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. 
Shots good by Mullins. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. Robinson kicks to Lawson. Back to Robinson. Let's it go with a three. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got five assists in the game. It's deflected. Chandler with the steal. And Hickson throws it down. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Denver on D. They trail by three. Here's Quinn. And another three for the Clippers. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Lawson outside. He kicks it to Hickson. Shot clock at six. And he gets it to go. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Chandler dishes to Robinson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Now just a two-point clipper lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, try to force this team into some bad shots. Jamison kicks to Quinn. Puts up the baby hook. Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, that didn't go down, but those are exactly the plays coaches like to see. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Clippers? From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. Their passing also continues to be outstanding, Clark. In the second half, we we're really seeing a good, efficient offense as a result of that ball movement. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Inside, here's Mullins, and he finishes nicely on the layup. And the Clippers lead by six. That's some grit and determination in the post essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. Here's Hickson, and it's Denver scoring again. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Jameis in the pass to Mullins. Here's Quinn. Lawson defending. Again, the Clippers. Wow, what a play right there. Left the defender tumbling to the floor, and then the balance to knock down the shot. Beautiful. Going off those rush hour handles, that was one heck of a move right there. Robinson kicks to Chandler. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. Now the feed to Reddit. Stolen by Robinson. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Knocks it loose. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Quinn. Hammers it in after taking it the length of the floor. That very well may put the finishing touch on this one. Not at all the time to get sloppy with the basketball. How about the killer instinct for not running the clock out, but pushing it ahead. Amazing one player can turn the ball over so often. Again, Los Angeles. He is just eating this team alive with his offense. It's been a matchup nightmare. The Nuggets trail by eight. And Lawson, here we go. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. 
And again, the basket from Quinn. Quinn's got 57 points. And so game three will go in the record books. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Clippers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, Clark, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Well, it's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. You look at the stats, and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Boss. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket just seems to be incredibly wide. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, Ty Lawson in this one. He's got 10 points and six assists. The first free throw is good. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. And Lawson hits two free throws. And it's the Clippers' ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Doubled by Gallinari. Quinn dishes to Hollins. Pass to Bullock. He feeds it to Quinn. Fires for three. Denver grabs the miss. Now, here is four. From deep, Gallinari. The rebound by Hollins. Tries again, and he lays it up and in. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a